Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your June 2018 reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. I want to thank you to the ones of you that were patient and didn't get rude with me. I really appreciate it. I did have a few Aries get send me rude, nasty comments on other videos because theirs wasn't done yet. You know, I feel sorry for people like that. I really do. Obviously, I just didn't get to it yet. It's not June. It's, you know, I do this out of the kindness of my heart for you guys. So, I am I really, you know, these are free readings. I, I just am totally blown away by the, the rude comments on other videos about why didn't I do it? How come I didn't do Aries yet? Poor form. I, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> really? Really? Uh, that is pretty childish, but you know what? If that's the kind of person you are, then go someplace else by all means. So, this is for the sign of Aries for the month of June. Something, you know, the month of June is about re, uh, regaining balance in your life. You know, bringing some balance back. I feel like you guys have been left in the dark. Or maybe you felt like you were in the dark or out in the cold. You've been in a situation where there's been no excitement, no growth, no fertility. But it looks like you you've remained strong through this situation. Okay, you've remained strong. You've been strong. But something hasn't been growing like you'd like, you know? You may feel like you're on your own or something like that. Like you you're you're a victim here, you know? There's kind of like you're not you know, I hate to say victim mentality because I know that you guys don't really do that. But there is times in everybody's lives where they can, you know, feel like there was a period of darkness, you know, going through a period of darkness. And we all go through it. So I feel like you guys have went through that period of darkness. But it made you stronger, okay? It made you find your power. Um, and I feel as though balance should be returning this month, okay? You guys are thinking about walking away from a situation. You're thinking about ending it, becoming free. It's like, you know what, I think I just want to be free. It's a time of freedom for me. I, and, you know, when you become free of something that is imbalanced and heavy and unjustified, it, it, it's a huge relief. And it's, it's a time of liberation. So I feel like you guys are quickly moving out of a unfertile situation or an unfertile state of mind. You know, you're moving out of it. I think that you guys have been going through some unexpected conflict that forced you to be strong. So that's pretty interesting. But it looks like this month, you guys are at a crossroads and you're about to go down a new path. You are. You're at some kind of crossroads where there's like a new door opening for you. And it's something that you deserve and that, you, that you've that you been waiting for. This could be happening out of the blue. Okay. It feels as though there's been some sort of financial chaos in your life that has brought you backwards. Whether it's another person who has caused this or even yourself. Maybe... You know, you've overspent and you've had to recover and now maybe this is the month where you start to see balance in the checkbook or balance in the finances or balance in your life, period. I think that you've been through some sort of um, conflict for sure. You know, you've been through some sort of conflict that forced you to be strong. Interesting. 
Yeah, you guys have made a, a solid decision. You've made a solid decision to remain hopeful about the future, to to follow your dreams, you know, to move forward. You've made a solid decision to not stay stuck in this predicament that you've been in. You have the strength to move out of it, and you're moving out of it. You guys have been through a conflicting period, and I see light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, that's what I think is happening. I feel like you guys have slow and steady wins the race. You haven't given up. And because you haven't given up, it's almost like you're receiving some sort of reward for not giving up. Well, let me get this zoomed in. Amidst the sunlight, which I'm not going to filter out because I don't feel like it. Anyway, um, so you guys have two paths. Okay, that is for the two paths here, the two of wands. You have to make a decision. You have options, okay? Do you go or do you stay? Do you, um, are you content or are you not? You know, the thing is, is right now I think you, you are, have been trying to make a decision whether to go down this new path or go, go through this new doorway and close the door to the past or or to stay there so I think there's definitely a decision and you guys are making it I think in June you are making the decision and I think it's a decision to move forward something you've been thinking about for a long time I think that you guys are freeing yourself from a situation and I think that you're going to feel really really good with what whatever it is that you leave behind okay I think you guys are following your dreams and there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here because you guys didn't give up. You don't quit. You don't quit. That's what I see. There's no quit in here. You guys have gained a lot of strength and and power. And I see that you've gained a lot of confidence through this struggle too. There has been a struggle here, Aries. But you, it did make you stronger. So, kudos. What else does Aries need to know? Anything for love? You could be receiving some sort of payoff, okay? Some sort of money, just saying. You could be something that you deserve that you've been waiting for. Some little uh, monetary gain, per se. Oh, I'm talking about love. We're trying to. But anyway, there could be a very alluring um, opportunity for you, okay? You could be tempted by the devil, all right? Just saying. This is a month, I mean, there is temptation here. You know, temptation can come in many ways. It can come in the form of greed, uh, materialistic things, uh, sex, lust, lies, um, addictions, obsessions. So, you know, be careful because there could be an attraction that turns out to be toxic. I'm just saying it could be, it may not be. Um, there's probably going to be a very magnetic attraction between you and another person. It could turn out to be just sexual. So just keep that in your, you know, the, the back of your head. Um, you guys may not be able to, to blend very well. There could be a lack of cooperation, a lack of communication, a lack of coming together with this person that you are so drawn to okay just keep that in mind it could just be an obsession it could be you know that you could be dealing with somebody who's all talk so beware okay there somebody could be filling you up with a pile of shit that they just want they're looking for a commitment when they're there they aren't looking for a commitment okay maybe they're they're already committed but they're going to tell you that they're just looking for sex so just keep that in mind there you could be you could run into to a situation that you're dealing with a liar, okay? So there's no rush. If somebody comes rushing into your life and it seems too good to be true and they're looking to, you know, get down and dirty really quick, just, just beware that there's probably no staying power there. It's probably just a sexual obsession, okay? Just saying. So you may need to really 
make sure you're judging this situation clearly because you may not be. This is misjudging a situation. Somebody may be misjudging your intelligence, okay? So just keep that in mind. I mean, and you might meet this person at a gathering. If you go to a gathering, a wedding in June or something like that, any kind of gathering, you could come across somebody that you are very sexually attracted to. It could be a wedding, could be a funeral, could be a party, you know, a summer barbecue, anywhere where there's a lot of people, you know, of people coming together. There could be a strong sexual attraction between you and another person. I just want to let you know that it could just be sex and that's it. It might not lead to anything else. You could be dealing with somebody who is all talk and games and, you know, all they are interested in sex and that's what it looks like to me, so just be careful. Anyway, um... This, this, the thing is, is you, you're start trying to bring balance back to your life, right? Because that's what I see. You're trying to bring balance back. There's been a lack of balance, a lack of growth, a lack of fertility, a lack of energy. Okay, you've probably been through a moody, temperamental, depressing period in your life. You have an opportunity this month to regain balance, but that's when the universe will throw this temptation into your life. Seriously, when you finally start to get back on track, the universe will, will throw you that uh, kicker, okay? So there is going to be something that it could potentially throw you off balance. Make sure that you are in no hurry to make the wrong decision, okay? So just keep that in mind. You, This person, when they come in, whether you're with them now or not, however this applies to your situation, they may be very critical of you, okay? So, because uh, it feels like this person with the Seven of Wands is very um, judgmental. So just, just watch out, anyway. What else does Aries need to know for June? I think there's an opportunity for lust. I don't see love, though. This person that you're dealing with is full of shit, so just keep that in mind. Um, and it feels like, you know, you probably will be seduced like never before. Just saying, there's a lot of seduction here. Definitely a lot of seduction. And you may feel like you can't, you're going to have to take time out. It's like, you know what, this is too much for me. This is, this is overwhelming. I feel like there are probably, you need to remove... There's something that is keeping you empty or making you feel empty, okay? This person I probably sees your vulnerability. Be careful. Just be careful. It feels like you're being manipulated. It does. You're being lied to. This is lies. I feel like you will, in June, you really need to be on your toes, okay? Remember how strong you've become. Remember all that you've learned. Remember who you are. Think of the Lion King, okay? Because this is what they remember who you are because you could be tempted by the devil, okay? So I'm just, I have to tell you that. And it could leave you feeling empty inside, all right? I feel like you probably could be seduced this month by, by you know, somebody that you were probably in a karmic contract with, okay? There's a karmic, con karmic contract here. So I feel like it, but it could be just, oh, this, you know... <laughs> I think this is going to be out of the blue. I think it's it's going to happen out of the blue. I think you're going to go to an event. And you're going to have a connection with another person. And it's it's karmic. And there's an undeniable bond between you and this person. It's it's very... It's, there's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of magnetic pull. Um, and it's probably a karmic soulmate connection. How long it lasts, I do not know. I can't tell you. It, it doesn't... I can't say, I can't say how long it's going to last, but I, I do feel like there is absolutely a lot of attraction here between you and another person. <laughs> there is somebody, you're dealing with somebody who is absolutely going to see your beauty, feel your beauty. They're going to make you feel beautiful. This person is not your usual type. They don't look like your usual type. They don't, um, 
It's like you, you don't even see it coming, okay? And this person is so attractive that you, you, and it doesn't mean that they're attractive, I mean, they may be looks ways. Your attraction will be undeniable and it doesn't matter what they look like. That's what I am saying, okay? I think you are going to be pulled in a direction that you can't fathom almost. It's like, oh my God, you may already be in a relationship, Aries, okay? I'm just saying, you may already be in a relationship and then you have this connection that is out of this world. I'm just saying, that could certainly happen, okay? Or, <sighs> yeah, it looks like, I think there is. I think you're probably going to have a choice between two people, two paths. That's the crossroads under the other two of wands. You have a choice between two paths. What are you going to do? Do you stay or do you go? Son of a bitch, we're back at that. So I feel like this is a month of regaining balance that has been lost and trying to find the balance. I think that you are being rewarded by something that after a period of struggle, you are being rewarded with something that is better suited for you. So you may have to let go of a toxic situation to enter this union, this loving union. Whatever this is, it can play out in so many different ways. I mean, as I look at the cards, but I feel like you are probably radiating at a very high level with these two cards. You're probably very, very passionate and you're very magnetic. You're very beautiful. And I think that you're probably calling in your soulmate, even if you're with somebody else. So just keep that in mind and look what is on the bottom of the deck which would be you this is represented by you so you guys are right in your own element in june and you i think you're calling in your soulmate so beware beware if you're with somebody else there could i mean there could be an attraction that is undeniable and you may not be able to stop yourself if you are single you, you could meet somebody that you know it could be a soulmate it's definitely karmic, put it that way. I mean, not all karma is bad, and I don't care what everybody says, but there's definitely, there's definitely karma here. So anyway, I feel like there is, there could be even a reconciliation here, there or a reunion. So I feel like there is, somebody is headed towards love, whatever that means. With somebody from your past, perhaps? Anyway, um... And that's what I have for June.